Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network 5 Team Colonel. Now, in the last episode we had encountered um, Pride and as well as Tesla in Team Proto Man. So, now in this side of the story it is time that we battle, well we have to get through the third control box, you know, to save our friends who are stuck in the old mine and, you know, defeat their navvies and whatnot. And I'm not spoiling um, the Team Proto Man side, is because I honestly don't remember if the Navi gets mentioned on that side, and if he does, well, yeah. But at this current time of recording it, I still haven't touched that side yet, so I don't know. Because I'm recording this immediately after the previous episode, before I even touch the neck, the Team Proto Man stuff, so, yeah. So, the extra also irony is if you guys remember uh, my, um... My brain's uh, just completely giving up on me at the end of the last episode trying to end it off. And I'll be right back when Dog stops barking. Okay, now that the dog has stopped barking, finally. Well, actually this was a while ago. I just ended up taking a short break and getting myself some food because I was hungry. And well, after about like five minutes of barking dog, I was like, okay, enough of this. And then as soon as I sit down with a bowl of food in front of me, it's like, no, we're just going to stop doing that. But anyway, is I had mentioned last episode of a story I was going to tell because of uh, dark humor that me and a friend have is so while i was in the hospital my friend sky had decided to come visit and like i had said before both of us have like some pretty dark humor that both of us get a good laugh out of <laughs> so you know being in a hospital but i really should not be making a joke of this because you know it's not it, it's not necessarily funny but at the time it was just something we can joke what we joked about and honestly, I've made jokes about my own death way too much. So, <laughs> there is that too. But we had heard uh, some ambulances going across. And we were just like, "Is oh, it sounds like somebody's dying. And immediately, it's just, is she comes back with is, well, we are in a hospital. And both of us are just sitting there just like, did we just say that as we like start laughing it off? Because, I mean, like, it was it was pretty good. Like, you don't expect... Like, when you come with, like, up with a really dark joke, the rock feed unit is broken. You cannot go this way. What? You still want to go this way? Then you'll have to deactivate the rock feeder unit. Throw off the rock supply here. Use this control lever. Next to the conveyor belt. This is the key to th the off switch. Go ahead. It's yours. You cannot get to the off switch from there. Take the long route. Around this right side. But yeah, is I just find it funny because usually if you come up with like some really dark like humor like that, is you know most people are just kind of in shock and can't follow up, and it's kind of funny when somebody can kind of like keep up with you and just kind of balance it out. At least to me, it just makes the joke even funnier. Because I've even said it's like oh because it's the month of October as I seen this gravestone um. Like, on Reddit or Instagram somewhere. I might be able to pull up the picture of it, possibly. If not, then... Oh, well. But it just is this gravestone with a skeleton arm sticking out with a thumbs up. Just being like, still dead. Thanks for checking. And I had told the... And I was like... And I told my friends, I was like, you know, if I don't make it, like, just please make sure this is my gravestone. Please. As my dying wish. Like, that's all I need. Because, you know... 
If I'm gonna, if, oh dang it. Well, well, we can see what these do, even though I already explained it in the last episode. But now you have a visual confirmation. Even though it was just me being dumb and just kind of screwing that up. But, yeah. Okay, let's actually get through this. As I've run out of things to talk of. At least for the moment until, like, something else just kicks in my head. Also, there's one thing, too. I haven't really been explaining the viruses of this area, but I think they're also, like, fairly self-explanatory. Like, little drill guys that kind of just run across and just drill a hole, like, forward, like, long ways and then find the panel that you're sitting on, like, drill that way vertically. So, yeah, anyway. Use the stop key so the rocks will stop moving and then we can get to the third switch. Boo. And then you're starting to just, ow, burp and hiccup because I just ate. Ugh. Okay, just go down. Just had enough of this. So, we're gonna knock this out probably fairly quickly. I'm kinda hoping, mainly it's just cause as well as like, I'm recording this not super late at night, but it's like 9 o'clock at night. And I gotta be up at like 3 a.m. because work! That's the one thing fun about your immune system being completely gone. Is I'm a lot, is I'm gonna go back to work. But I'm also going back, but I've also been going back because I started like a few days ago. But I've gone back like way too early because I'm not technically cleared until like... January would be the latest that I would be allowed to go back. For everything fully, December being, I guess, the technical earliest that I can get everything done, but... Whoo, boy. Because it is quite tiring when you just barely have enough energy to, like, pull through a four-hour shift. And it's just... Because uh, it's not the getting up that early in the morning that's difficult, it's just the getting through it type of deal. is like you're kind of just slowly just kind of hit that slow what do you whatever you call it stopping the drill all right so that makes number three okay we activated another control switch any better decks instead of checking why don't we just get to the fourth one and stop it completely the drill slowed down quite a bit but I can see cracks running across the ceiling. We'll be buried in rubble in no time. Mega Man, check out. We gotta stop the drill before our friends are hurt. Roger. Check me into the last control box. Okay, let's do it. One thing I would recommend, though, is too, is um, when you get to this, f is, especially if you're playing Teen Colonel or if you're playing the game along with me, is I would highly recommend equipping some break chips into your folder because those are very useful to have. And then is one thing I was talking about in the last episode is just Mega Man being super weak. And one reason for that is that his health was in uh, my old playthroughs when I was younger was always extremely low. Sometimes just barely being above like 140. So that kind of would make things, you know, pretty easy since later in the game you can literally be like two shot and that's including having undershirt equipped so yay and you can imagine how much fun bosses and virus battles are but this would be one of the few hp memories that me and my sister would find is the one in that like spot i mean and even then it's like sure i've got base cross equipped and that gives me a 20 percent boost in my hp but even still you know, my HP's quite high. It, I believe, like, because when we had gotten to the first Liberation Mission, is, when you get to the first Liberation Mission, with all the HP members you can equip, and, like, including going to, like, the shops and stuff, you can get enough HP members to get a full 200 HP. Like, you don't need to really grind that much. And even then, it's, um, we're going to be getting... You know, obviously, like, new teammates, because, like, you know, it's a team. It's not gonna really work with just, like, two net navvies for the whole game. But 
one teammate is gets an extreme boost in HP that eventually at the end of the game has 900 when you get to the final liberation mission. And as you go through every liberation mission, their HP like increases by a certain amount. It depends on the navy. I don't remember it exactly, but all of them have like their own like certain amount. So yeah, I think the like for the for the mission that you get them in the lowest HP that somebody starts off with was one of the navies getting 250 HP. And it's the liberation mission immediately after this one. And we got Longsword S. That'll be very useful because it'll give us a program advance that we can now use. Which I like very much because having a program advance, it'll be very nice. There is also one thing that I should explain with program advances in this game. Is they don't work like they did in past games. And I smell something burning. So somebody is... I want to help cooking. <laughs> But one thing I was going to say with the program advances is they don't work how they did in past games. In past games, if you had, like, say, a program advance like the, um, like, Life Sword advances, because those ones have, like, a similar, like, a similar code, so you can equip multiple at once, you can't do, like, two Life Sword advances in one go. Like, in the same battle, you can only use one. If you equip, like, if you have, like, two sets to make two Life Sword advances, the second one won't activate. But we now have a Nightman, and well, yeah, let's take him on. Stop this drill! <sighs> Nightman, stop the drill! <sighs> it's no good. He's not listening. Mega Man, please stop, Nightman. He's the only way. It's the only way to save to save Lance's friends. <sighs> Man, here he comes. Battle routine set. Execute. <sighs> But yeah, if you guys remember, I mean, it obviously wasn't that long ago, because that's what... Okay, it was like a year ago, but it was when I played last. Is, you know, Mega Man Battle Arc 2's Nightman, who functions almost exactly the same as he did before. The only difference is he actually waits longer. You can't just force him to fire off multiple by standing in his line of sight for getting him to launch his Night Crusher. So you kind of have to wait on him unless you have break chips to get through his tough defensive stone body. And he does the same type of thing where he jumps forward and cracks your panels, but since I have face cross, I don't have to worry about that because I have float shoes, which is very helpful and nice because, you know, not having to worry about panels is very useful and the life sword for the win that we just got. What happened to me? Nightman, are you back to normal? Nightman, hurry and press the switch. Yes, Princess Pride. Shutdown switch activated. Free! Princess Pride, the drill has been deactivated. Thank you. Nightmare, check out. Yes, ma'am. Go, land, to your dear friends. Follow that path to go down below. Right, I gotta bust them out. Mega Man, check out. Roger. And, well, yeah, before we head off to go save our friends, now for the Team Proto Man boss fight. So. Alright, time to show off the Team Proto Man side. So as you can see, we have Magnet Man awaiting for us. Stop this drill! Who are you? Magnet Man! Magnet Man! That's Gauss and Navy! <laughs> Navy. Navy. Gauss the Net Mafia operator we beat before. Then it was you. You defeated my father. What? My Gauss is only daughter, Tesla. No way! It's your fault. You'll pay for what you did. Our fault, but Gauss was the one stirring up trouble. Yeah, he almost crashed a plane. Don't get me wrong. I couldn't care less about you getting dad arrested. That was his own fault. It's what you did after he was arrested. I was supposed to succeed my father, running his corporation. I managed to get some work done thanks to Mega Man. But I was so busy, my hair nearly fell out from all the stress. Ugh, that can't be fun. And it almost just ru and it just ruined my beautiful skin. That sounds like a big excuse to me. I mean, to young kid, yeah. <laughs> Magnet man, trash that little blue man. <laughs> Finally, some chance to burn off some stress. Anything for you, Tesla. Well, here he comes. Battle routine set. Execute. 
Max Magnet Power! <laughs> no, it's not. You're not your Neuro Mega Form yet. I mean, if you were, I could still destroy you. But, well, that's just because of the polar I'm using right now. But Magnet Man, ironically, isn't going nuts like Nightman did. He'll spawn these magnet panels, which are honestly quite annoying, and then try to stick you into one spot so we can throw his magnet at you. And if you notice, when you step on these panels, they throw you to the side. Depending on their location, they can actually throw you to different spots of the map. So you need to watch out and be careful about that. He also has his magnet missiles. Once once he gets the stronger forms, he'll throw two at a time that you have to try and stop and destroy. And then he'll also throw this magnet ball, which will chase you down. And then what he does is trying to stick you down before he tosses you unusually. But that's all of his attacks for now. They're pretty simple. And if you try and get rid of the magnet panels, it is better to use something like float shoes because if you get rid of them, he'll just respawn them. You can't just take them out of the battle. You have to just work around it. Magnet Man, press the switch. You, you don't have me yet. Magnet Man, stop right there. But Tesla, that was an incredible fight, Magnet Man. I must have worked off a decade of stress. Now go ahead and just push the shutdown switch. Tesla so desires. Magnet Man, don't go thinking you've seen the last of me. Shutdown switch activated. Whee! The drill was shut down. Magnet Man, jack out. Yes, ma'am. Your name's Lan, right? You better hurry and rescue your friends. That nearby path will take you down below. Right, I've got to bust them out. Wait a minute, check out. Now, pretty much this is just kind of the same thing that we went through with Pride, so there's really nothing different other than Magnet Man being kind of... What's the word? Um, Kind of reluctant to help us. He only does it because Tesla is like, yes, do it, help them. Like... That is the only reason. We can just get this dialogue because it's the exact same. I am going to show off what happens when Magnet Man saves you from the switch, but that's about it. Really, there isn't much difference in dialogue and whatnot, but I'm still going to show it off because I think it's some importance. This must be the release switch. Present this switch now. Illegal operation. Activate security system. What? Barrier. Made it, man. But why? Because it's orders. Do you think I'd help you otherwise? The security system is off. Actually, slightly funny story. Thank you, made it, man. <laughs> Thank Tesla, not me. By the way, the electronic lock was released. Is ironically when I found out that Magnet Man and Ma and um, Nightman were both villains in the second game, it actually kind of shocked me because, you know, they're good guys in this game and on your team and other things you'll find out later if you haven't already played this game or other ones. Thanks a lot. Or just know what's coming up in general. Don't mention it. Hurry and save your friends. Yay. Everybody. Oh, Lan, I knew you could do it. Lan, thank you. Sheesh, I thought we were in for it. I don't want to stay another here another minute. Wow, I'm sure glad everybody's okay. You kids had better get a move on. A whole cave could cave in at any moment. Hey, that's Mrs. That's Mrs. of Goff's Inc. I saw her before at a party. Why is she, in the world is she here? I'll explain later. For now, just let's just jet out of here. It's like, yeah, why are you going to wait around in a cave that could possibly collapse because of a drill going off? Also, for a 28-year-old, you're pretty stupid for just setting that drill to go off while you're inside the cave just to let off some stress. Let's go to then. Oh? Ah, and there it is. Lynn, it's your phone. It's me. The nebula agents occupying Orin area are planning another attack on the ACDC area. No way! We must nip your nebula's plan in the bud. We still don't have a strategy for the gun battery in Ordinary 1, but we have no choice except to proceed. Begin mission immediately. Head to Ordinary 1 now. It's in your hands. Then how in the world are we going to get against that gun? The incredible Nebula gun battery. Guard. I know. And then, yeah. Tesla, can I ask you a favor? A favor? What on earth is it? Well, the nest been occupied right now. We um, part of a team job to go to part of Team, that explains why you're so strong. What? Very well. I'll have... I'll then... I'll have Mega Man lend you his power. Besides, Nibby has given our company a fair share of trouble. But, little missus. Mega Man, pray tell, you're not about to disobey me. Why, I would never. 
Native Man, there you have it, land. Native Man is all yours. I owe you one. We're going to Orinary One. Okay, my Magnet Man won't fail you. Land, let's hurry to the net. Yeah. Now, one thing is, too, and I will be getting to this, is something that I want to mention later, is while the other navvies do function differently in both games, depending on which one you're playing, I will be showing off how the navvies play differently and their abilities, but I'm going to be doing that and showing how they play off once we get to their specific liberation missions. The only reason I didn't show off Colonel and Protoman's differences is because their only differences is realistically just their charge shot in battle, whereas literally every other Navi, their abilities, everything is much different from what they do from each other. So depending on the game that you pick, you have a much different side of how things work. But with that being said, we're going to go back onto the Team Colonel side and wrap this up. So I will see you guys back over there. Press the wrong button. Alright, now that we're back from the Team Proto Man boss fight, off to save friends! Because, yeah, we gotta do that. And whatnot. So. But I'm saying this before I recorded it. Do you guys like the boss fight? Who's your, who's who's the cooler Navi? Which team are you on? L Lulz. Dex Mail, yeah, you guys okay? I'll get you out of there. Lan, I need you to come through for us. Lan, I thought we were done for. Lan, jack me in. I'll disable the electronic lock. Okay, Mega Man, there's the... There, there's gotta be the switch somewhere inside. Jack in, Mega Man, execute. All right, now is there... It's The switch for it's in the center of the whole uh, lock. I'm just checking for items because, you know, you... you you gotta make sure if you didn't have items, you just okay, man, yeah. Why aren't you gonna why wouldn't you take a second to check for items? And yeah, there's nothing here. So let's just activate the log and get on with it. Or you know, have to take on viruses and whatnot. Or I can just ugh. This must be the release switch. Pressing the switch now. Illegal operation. Activate security system. What? Nightman, don't move. The security system is off. Thank you, Nightman. A true knight always returns a favor in kind. This is my thanks for restoring me to normal. Now we're even. The electronic lock is down. You can save your friends. Lynn, check me out. Roger. Thanks a lot. Don't mention it. Now hurry and save your friends. Hey! Everybody! Oh, Lan, I knew you would could do it. Lan, thank you. Sheesh, I thought we were in for it. I don't want to stay here another minute. Well, I'm sure glad everybody's okay. Oh, well, that's interesting. The Rock Foundation is trembling. Hurry, outside, everybody! She sure looks familiar. Did I meet her before? I'll explain later. For now, let's jet out of here. Let's go too, then, Lan. Oh. Lan, it's your phone. It's me. The nebula agents occupying Oran area are planning another attack on ACDC area. No way! We must nip yep, Nebula's plan in the bud. We still don't have a strategy for the gun battery on Oran Area 1, but we have no choice except to proceed. Begin mission immediately. Head to Oran Area 1 now. Chunk. How in the world are we getting, going to guard against that incredible Nebula gun battery? Guard. I know! 
Lady Pride, could I ask you a favor? A favor? What on earth is it? The net's occupied by a group called Nebula. I belong to a team whose job is to free areas under Nebula's control. I'm going to end a battle with Nebula forces, but I can't succeed without Nightman's help. Yes, I see. We'd be happy to help. Right, Nightman? Yes, ma'am. If it would be of any help at all, don't hesitate to call upon Nightman. I owe you one. Okay, everybody, to Orin Area 1. Understood. Lam, let's hurry to the net. Yeah. And then we just get kicked out of the old mine, because... You got us out of a real tight spot, Lan. Thanks, buddy. My, my knees are still knocking. I don't know if I can walk yet. Lan, thanks for saving us. Anyway, with that being said... Now, let's hurry along. So, yeah. There isn't really a whole lot to do, and I was originally planning on going through the Liberation mission. We're just going to go ahead and get up there. But I'm not actually going to continue on with the Liberation mission. We're just going to save that for the next episode. And the only reason as to why I'm saving it for the next episode is honestly because I've been up for a super long time and I need to actually go to bed and, you know, be healthy, kind of. So, that and I can also then proceed to do some grinding to try and make it a little bit easier on myself for the upcoming battle because I could get through this liberation mission fairly quickly but it's also not gonna be the easiest thing to deal with with the chip holder that I have right now so there is that we also do have this area in Orient area one from the I believe this elevator comp but it could also have been from the crane either way there's this one here and then the other one is in Orient area two so yeah but it's at like the very end of the area so we'll check that out a bit later. Era Hockey S. That will be very useful, so I might do some grinding for that when I get around to it, probably tomorrow. But yeah, we got the elevator comp here, and we got Holdy Panel Asterisk. Not very useful. I mean, it could be used definitely, but I don't use it because it's kind of just... I mean, it's... Like I said, it's something that can be used, but I mean, all you do with Holdy Panels is just take half damage, and Sanctuary is a much better chip, even though it's a mega chip, so... Yeah, and how's my Zenny looking? What do we still need from you? I mean, we need a few things, but not really a whole lot that I can't already worry about. And even then, I also have gotten all the HP memories. There we go. So yeah, like I said, is I'm probably gonna go ahead and take some time to do some grinding and just get everything set up to go. So and then we'll do the liberation mission in the next episode. So until then, I will see you guys then. Later.